Hey there, kids! Welcome to Artie's Aqua Adventures! I'm your host, Artie the Awesome! Yes, Artie's Aqua Adventures, where we have fun telling stories about my favorite subject, water! Today's story is... The Red Sea Our story today begins with a wise old man named Moses. Moses was very close to God, and God used Moses for some very important and powerful things. Today, Moses was going to help free God's chosen people from slavery in Egypt. I'm going to go help free God's chosen people from slavery in Egypt. Moses finally arrived in Egypt, but he was not met with friendly open arms. He spoke with the Pharaoh about releasing the slaves, but the Pharaoh was not going to let that happen. I will not let this happen. Over the next several days, God sent several special miracles to prove to the Pharaoh that he was, in fact, God. These events are awesome, but they are for another story another day. We pick our story up after God's final miracle for the Pharaoh, when the Jews were all running away from Egypt with Moses at the lead. We're all running away from Egypt, with me in the lead! But the Pharaoh wasn't going to have that. He sent a large army after them. The army chased the Jews for a long while, when they had to make a stop at the Red Sea. They were trapped! Oh no, we're trapped! Moses had to do something, and he had to do it fast. He called upon God's power and strength, and raising his hands to the heavens, God stepped in and did something awesome. He tore the Red Sea into two. The whole sea began to split open with God's strength so that the Jews could successfully make it across. The Jews jumped down into the newly dry area of the sea and began to run across it. Eventually, the army that was chasing them reached the sea too, but the sea was still parted. This allowed the army to hop down and still chase them, which is what they did. But luckily for the Jews, they made it to the shore long before the army could get to them. Now that the Jews were safe, Moses no longer needed the sea to be split, so he lowered his hands. The sea walls started to fall, with the Egyptian army still inside. The sea spilled back into its original place, stopping the army in their tracks. The Jews were free and no longer being chased. They could go on to create their new land, thanks to the power of God and the strength and faith of Moses. And there you have it, kids. Wasn't that story great? I know I sure enjoyed it. Aquatic tales are just the best. Well, my time is up for today. Have some awesome aquatic adventures for yourself. This is Artie, signing off.